What's up? Hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Today's video is a fun one. Stadium Creator is now out on MLB The Show 21. Before I hop into it, I got to give a huge shout out to PlayStation and MLB The Show, allowing me to have early access and make some videos for y'all before launch and launch it right at launch. Launch, 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 baby. Anyways, we're going to be showing off some of my tips and tricks that I've learned in Stadium Creator so far. It's been a super fun sandbox mode to play around, mess around with everything you can imagine, and oh my goodness, it is everything I imagined and more. We've been asking for Stadium Creator since MVP Baseball had it back in 2005, and 2021 with the next-gen consoles is the first year we finally get it, which is always... It was, a, it was a really good addition. You can use it in Diamond Dynasty, play with your friends, and in franchise mode. There's going to be limits in Diamond Dynasty. Some wall presets. We'll cover that in a little bit. Free reign if you want to play against your friends or franchise mode. And of course, you can upload them to the vault so you can see what you can show off to your friends, the stadium you have, or download stadiums that you may not be as creative, but you want to download different stadiums. They will be in the vaults. Super awesome to be able to do that and share that between Xbox and PlayStation. Now to find it, it was a little bit confusing at first. There's that the, you think it's going to be down in the the different menus, but it is not. It is actually in the top right hand part of your screen next to settings. There's a little paintbrush that says create. You click on that. You go to Stadium Creator. Once you're in the Stadium Creator, you have these different canvases already there for you some of these are pre-made where you can just easily edit them so if you're really not that creative or only want to change a few things so you like the look of the stadium you can easily do that now you cannot edit currently ml or current mlb stadiums at all so you can't edit yankee stadium or uh t-mobile stadium stuff like that i'm sure people are going to create those stadiums on their own in the game but yeah, you're not able to do that. So you can do, you can even do a random, a random one out there. You got the cornfield, of course, for the sandlot, which is, oh man, I got chills thinking about that. I'm not going to lie to you right there. You got some cool backdrops. You got snow backdrops. You got varsity. You got everything out there you could think of. You got Tony Gwynn field. You got mega decks out there. You got an island. I mean, everything is out there. What I'm going to choose, though, is the blank canvas. You can also go to, to, to Tutorial Park as well. It's a good place to kind of learn and mess around with stuff. But you know what? I'm going to hop in the blank canvas here and kind of show you what I have learned so far. I'm going to show you seven different tips and tricks that will make your stadium editing a whole lot easier. Now, the first tip and trick is always to make sure what edit mode you're in. There are two different edit modes. There's easy edit mode and pro edit mode. I'm going to throw it up on the screen, the differences between the pro mode and the easy mode. So basically easy. You just click on stuff, easily edit it. Pro mode, you can actually add props and start really, really adjusting different things out there. But yeah, make sure, first tip and trick, make sure you know what editing mode you're on. It will make yourself a whole lot easier. If you're on easy edit mode, you can edit wall presets, but you can't edit wall heights or anything like that. You got to be in the pro mode. It was a little confusing at first, so definitely something to remember and just kind of get that engraved in your head. Second tip and trick right now, there is a grid function. Just press and square will open up the grid for you. So if you're super going to be super OCD, trying to figure out how you want to place everything and make it look symmetrical, the grid is the move right there. And look at all the extra space we have to edit the stadium. So not only can we edit like stands around it pretty close, but we can edit roads and buildings and everything else like that. That is so cool to see you can just free reign edit all that stuff to turn off grid mode if you're not going to be using grid too much you just press the square again boom and then that's number two would lead us into number three tip and trick is resetting your camera you can get really into stadium creator when i was messing some stuff around i'm like how do i reset my camera without you know trying to do the zoom function or stuff like that you know you're editing out here and you're just trying to you know you're adding, you're like oh, i'm gonna add a prop right here I'm gonna add a prop, I'm gonna add a, a thing right here, I'm gonna put it like right here, boom, you're like, how do I get out of here without pressing L1, R1, zoom in? This is really confusing. All you gotta do is go back to your stadium hub, right there, boom, triangle. Triangle is gonna reset your camera view just from behind home plate. Hit L on the there right there, boom, you can start your back to free reign. You can do that at any time in your stadium hub. Go back to your stadium hub, triangle, resets your camera. After the reset of the camera, which is always so, so nice, tip and trick number four is going to be how do you snap items together? You're thinking, yo, Clutch, I want to put some stands in here, but I want everything to be straight and easy. Super easy to do. Why don't we just hop in there? We got to, you know what, let's hop into some, uh, oh, they got tacos. Where's the burrito stand? 
anyways all right now we got some we got some wood bleachers out here we'll put some wood bleachers on the side and you're like yo clutch how'd i do this boom so you want to get some wood bleachers say we're gonna have like a little bit of grass maybe a little bit of pathway out there we're gonna have it right there and then all of a sudden you're like man how do i line this up i gotta zoom i gotta zoom in right here i gotta try to line this up i gotta get my forehead on the damn screen nope there's actually a snapping tool right there l3 boom look at that and then you can just go away and spam it as much times as you want it'll snap in there for you and then you can you know you can rotate with the r2 l2 right there and look at that you can snap it this way i don't know why you'd want to have stands the other way but you know what maybe you do maybe people are watching the parking lot to see if there's any cops and robbers going down i know weird thing to say i was trying to come up with something witty anyways your snap tool is going to be your best friend when it comes to all the different props out there and lining stuff up being symmetrical and like i was saying too you really want to you got to be in your hub but you can turn on the square so that way when you go back to your prop inventory here and you want to like you know line stuff up um let me move that right there boom we're gonna go some wood bleachers here uh, actually hold on add prop wood bleachers oops and then you just want to line it up to the best of your ability all oh, right there turn on that toggle snap and yeah, you can kind of like line it up right there. Now, when, it does think you can't snap onto the grid right there, but at least you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking like right there. Um, and you can also toggle the UI by R3. That's tip number trick number six right there. So R3 will hide that for you. So you have a little bit better idea of seeing that. And you can just hit L1 or R2, L2 to kind of line it up. Looks pretty good right there. Boom. And then that's where you toggle the uh, snap right there. And it'll automatically snap. Look at the lineup right there. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Boom. And now you got yourself some straight, straight bleachers. Now the next tip and trick that I'm going to show you after the toggle snap and the, uh, the grid function and the cameras and everything else in between, make sure I'm pro, is going to be your outfield wall. Now you can edit a bunch of different things of your outfield wall. You start moving your walls around, it will not be eligible for Diamond Dynasty play at all, for competitive play, but you can literally move your walls around by just selecting it and just, you know, you can select it with your cursor and just easily hit X and move it up, down, move it all around. You can toggle the slope by L3 right here and then you can just hit your R2, L2, make it taller, make it shorter. You can make it up to 40 feet high. Oh my God, that's toxic. And you can just move stuff around if you want to select multiple walls and adjust that all you got to do is hit up on your d-pad right there and you can do that if you want to hit left or right you can choose different ones there too so if you want to choose that hit x and you can edit multiple different panels right there you can see the ones that are differently highlighted if you want to toggle the slope it's going to be uh it's going to be l3 right there and you can easily just kind of toggle the slope there and then doom doom like that you're going to move it on there you're going to Toggle, you can toggle the slope there boom look at that you got some weird you got some like christmas tree stuff going right there you got some weird looking walls merry christmas but yeah making sure to toggle that slope you really want to get some weird designs on your wall you can also select different you can add props to your wall you can change you can change the material by pressing x out there you can do wall props out there they got doors they got windows they got ivy you know you can do a whole bunch of different stuff out there we're gonna put a, a door out there all right just a, a random random looking door all right that's gonna be the doorway to heaven okay all right boom just like that and then you can easily easily save your ballpark like i said if you get in a weird camera angle you're like how the heck do i get out of this camera angle triangle boom look at that you're already you're already back into the normal looking area so there's some tips and tricks for you that's some pretty easy stuff to kind of think about and do like i said the biggest thing is you just got to make sure you're either in the pro mode or the easy mode also you do have stadium properties out here where you can change your stadium name your place your location the altitude the highest your altitude can be is 5,279 so you can't go over a uh, mile high stadium so you can't be like 10,000 feet up in the air like you just don't care no 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 that's the highest you can go year built your templates out there your seating color boom make sure you hit save super nice scenery you can change the backdrop of your scenery however you want it to look if you want cement desert whatever it may be sand 
red rocks, grass. There's different grasses out there. Frosted grass. If you want to build some mountains out there. Dirt Canyon. And distant scenery, you can add cool things too. Small city, red rocks, mountains out there as well. So you want to do mountains and you want to do some... Uh, some uh, frosted grass, all of a sudden you got yourself, you know, you got yourself a freaking a mountain-esque stadium out there, minus the snow on the on the ground right there. Now on the top right hand side too, you got to keep an eye on your budget and that is going to be huge. You can go up to 100% in your budget, nothing more. It's basically going to be able to limit the amount of stuff you can have just so people don't abuse it and spam 30,000 different items and really bog down the performance of the stadium creator. Also next to it is the capacity. The max capacity you can have in the stadium is 60,000. And lastly, that little red bat right there, that means it's not eligible for online Diamond Dynasty ranked play, for Battle Royale, Battle Royale events, ranked seasons, stuff like that. So you gotta remember that. And if you can't play stuff, if it's like, if you have something very, very weird right here, so if you like edit this and like put it in the stadium, that little a little red with a, a budget item that means that item cannot go there so be be very cautious about that stuff but yeah that's a little bit of tips and tricks that i've learned the biggest thing is the snap tool that is going to be your best best friend in stadium creator use that use that to your heart's content thank you so much for watching the video hopefully the stadium creator tutorial well, wasn't really a tutorial just tips and tricks hopefully this helped you out a little bit to get a little, a little understanding like I said, too, there's also, you go into the menus right here, there is a tutorial system in the game. So there's 10 different tutorials if you want to watch those from MLB The Show with Coach. You gotta love Coach, right? And watch those and help you out as well. Took the time to watch and enjoy it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content. Make sure that sub button row to 3,000 subs. We'll keep pushing and moving and grooving, baby. Till the next video, hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace out. Bye.